Hey guys, it's Sammy SoCal and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another tutorial because you guys have kept asking me to do another one and oh, when are you going to upload it or you know, you should do more tutorials, this and that. And a lot of you guys keep asking me how to draw certain things. And one of those things that you guys keep asking me to draw are the grills. So I've noticed that on a lot of BMW posts, you guys tend to DM me privately saying, oh, how did you do the grills for this M4? How did you do the grills for this whatever BMW? So I've just decided to make a tutorial on it because honestly, it's really, really simple to draw grills. And this technique that I will show you on how to draw the grills can help you with like the wheels, for example. Honestly, it's a really common technique and I use it for not only the grills, but for other parts of the car. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I do it and I hope you guys find this video helpful. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so to start off, I'm gonna show you guys the first tool I use when uh, coloring the grills, okay? So this is basically what I use. It's just a black, plain Prismacolor marker. I don't know if you guys can like read that there. So yeah, this is just a plain black marker and you can use any marker. It can be a Copic marker, a Prismacolor marker, whatever marker works for you or you have available to you. Just use a black marker, okay? And I use a black marker for literally every single drawing. So if you don't have a black marker, you should go get one. So I'm just gonna start off by literally coloring the grills black. Like that's all you gotta do. So that's the first step is if I can get this marker open. Okay, so all you have to do is just color the grill. So you just have to be really careful here. I already outlined it. And as you can see, I'm just gonna color in the lines. Don't go out or else, you know, you're gonna mess it up. So yeah, I'm gonna fast forward this just so you're not like bored here. Alright, so after I'm done here coloring the base with the marker, you have to let it dry for a couple minutes. You cannot just start using a pencil on top of the wet marker because the paper is going to start to tear with the really sharp edge of the pencil. So what I do, I normally do is while this is drying, I'll start working on something else. Like I'll start coloring in the wheels or I'll start coloring the car or the windows or, you know, whatever. But since I'm not really going to do anything else at the moment, I'm just going to wait a couple minutes, like five to ten minutes until this is dry. And then I'll show you guys the next step. All right. So now that the, the marker has dried, it's been about like 10 or 15 minutes. Now we can start using the colored pencils on top. So I'm going to show you the colored pencils I'm going to be using today and it's just going to be these two polychromos. So this is just a plain white pencil and then this gray one is called Cold Gray 2. I don't know if you guys can like see that there. But yeah, so I'm going to be using these two. So I'm going to use this for like the bottom half and then this one for like the top half because that's what it kind of looks like in the picture. So basically, I, it doesn't matter which one we start with. I'm going to start off with the, the gray one. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the top. Like, like this. And then I'm going to go down. So just like that. And as you can see, the polychromos are really like vibrant and they, they color really nicely on top of marker. So even if we have a black base, these light colors will still show nicely. So then we're gonna add the second one here. And it's okay if it's a little bit like messy. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna fix all of this uh, later on with like a black pencil. Okay, so there we go. Like I said, it's okay if it looks a bit messy because we're gonna fix this. But now that I've done like this part, I'm gonna go ahead and use the white uh, pencil to finish the bottom part here. All right, so now as you can see, it goes from like light to dark. I don't know if you guys can see that. It goes from like white to like a lighter, or I mean like a darker, white but it's really just like a gray so now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my black pencil which is right here and I'm gonna 
basically kind of um, clean up these lines a bit just to make them look more even and smooth. And then I'm going to add some shadows to the top part here of the grill and then to like the bottom. So it gives it like that depth effect. So as you can see, I just go like with the lines here. Here's where I like fix them up to make them look more smooth and like angled the way I want them to be. So I kind of didn't angle them as much as I had liked. So that's why I'm going in here now and kind of pushing them more to the left. And then I can add a little bit more of an angle here. So yeah, I, I add this angle like this so that it looks more like, you know, like because the, the grills have like a shape to it. So that's kind of like what I'm trying to achieve here. And I think so far it's looking pretty good. So I do this and then I'm just gonna color in between each line with like the black pencil just to fill it in to create that really, um, you know, just that depth. So now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add some shadows to like the bottom and to the top. So what I'm going to do is with the same black pencil, I'm just going to go ahead and like outline here the top part and then kind of now lightly press here to give it like an ombre effect so it's going from like light to dark. You just lightly press over and color like this and as you can see you have that kind of like effect now. And then we're going to do the same for the bottom. And there you go. So that's basically it. You can add some more detail to it. So what I'm going to probably do at the end is using my white pens, um, not pencil, my white pen. It's like a gel pen. I can go ahead and like add some like white little details to it just like this I don't know if you guys can see that but you know that's just adding some like white little detail in there just to make it look more you know just to make it look nice and shiny and you can just add stuff like that to it if you want you don't have to I like doing that just to make it look more shiny it's kind of uneven now but I'll fix it. You guys get the picture. So that's basically how I do it. This this is basically how I do the grills for um, every car. And it's the same for pretty much, it's, it's honestly, it's just the same for every car. And this is how I also, I use this technique for like the wheels and everything too. So yeah, I hope this tutorial was like super helpful for you guys. As you guys can see, it's honestly really simple. It's just using like only like three, four tools or materials. You just use like the marker, two like pencils and then the pen. It's really, really easy. So yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful and let me know what you guys wanna see next. And yeah, thanks for watching.